what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Starbucks is reacting to a run of bad publicity that started with racist employees calling the cops on two black men in Philadelphia by making radical changes to their policies. Check this out. Now, every Starbucks location will allow people to hang out if they want to without buying anything. Also, bathroom gate, no more. If you wanna use the restroom at Starbucks, you can go in there and use it free of charge. You don't have to buy anything. You don't have to be a customer at all. You can just go in there, take care of your business, and come out. The new policy is something they'll be able to discuss with their employees on May 29th when they close all 8,000 plus stores for racial bias training. Translation. Starbucks employees will no longer call the cops on black people for doing what white people always do at Starbucks. You know, I've been watching the CEO of Starbucks and the dude seems sincere, but I just can't help but think leadership starts at the top and he had to know that he had this type of climate. He had to know. He's the head, he's the leader. And if he didn't know, he need to be fired anyway, right? This same Starbucks called the police on customers 58 times in 15 months. What does that tell you? There's a pattern there. Some people are satisfied with the few little moves that this company has made. Starbucks made a public concession that cost them very little. They did it because their stock was dropping. They did it because they were getting a lot of bad press. They did it because people are very, very eager to accept a thin excuse for underlying bias. I don't trust them. I don't believe them for one minute that they're sincere. I believe that it is a culture, just like you have police brutality, all of the misconduct, the corruption, the criminalization, going on in the police departments all over America. It is a culture. You don't have these incidents back to back to back to back to back and it not be a culture. It's not isolated incidents. I heard somebody say, well, is it the people that work for the corporation or is it the corporation? Is it the company or is it the people? The people make up the damn company, dummy. It's the people. The company is just the company on paper. It's a DBA or it's a building. It's a Starbucks building. The building doesn't discriminate. It's the people that enters the building. Those are the people, the people that work in the building. They're the ones who do the discrimination. I tell you, man, it's some slow people on, on the internet. Some very slow people. The ultra rich are like it though. The ultra rich don't like paying for nothing. I bet you Donald Trump probably threw a party. Now, this is the time to support your local businesses, your local coffee shops. This is the time to if you're one of those people who are always saying, yeah, we need to pool our resources and we need to shop 
with black people. We need to support some of these black coffee shops. Hey, man, now is the time to support the black coffee shops. And I'm not just talking about black folks. I saw a whole lot of white folks out there boycotting. Mexicans too. So let's have it. Let's look at that concept. Let's, let's, let's visit that. Because black folks spend money with everybody. Don't even think about it. Spend the money unconsciously. Just be spending that money. Ha, 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 with everybody. Whites, Latinos, Asians, whatever. They just spend that money, man. They don't give a damn if you got the service that they're looking for. They just go in and buy. So it's time for y'all to do the same thing. Come spend your money with us. You know what you got. We, 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 what you need. We got it. Come spend your money with the black folks like the black folks spend the money with y'all. Anything you want, any kind of service that you need, we got it covered. We have people who can do the job, provide the service or the product just as well as anybody in the world. Now, I heard somebody saying something about Man, they're going to open up the floodgates. They letting anybody use the restroom and letting anybody come in and sit down. Ain't going to be nowhere to sit. The bathroom's going to be dirty. Y'all do realize that that was already Starbucks policy, right? That was already their policy. The only difference is, supposedly, now they're not going to be calling the police on black folks for doing the same thing that white folks have been doing. Well, everybody's, not just white folks, but everybody's been doing. That's the only difference. Starbucks, thanks for the offer, but my chairs, my restroom, and definitely my coffee is far more superior than yours. I'll pass. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about?